This video is intended to teach you how to find your mean electrical axis of your heart during contraction. To complete this task, you'll need two things. This diagram and electrocardiogram, or ECG. First, let's take a look at this diagram. This is something you want to draw on your paper or have in front of you. This diagram shows the six frontal leads of your heart using an ECG. Those six leads are the bipolar leads of one, two, and three. You can see here that those are representing zero degrees, positive 60 degrees, and positive 120 degrees. And the three unipolar leads, AV left, which is negative 30 degrees, AV frontal, which is positive 90 degrees, and AV right, which is negative 150 degrees. Now that you have this diagram made, you want to take your ECG and look at the reading for each one of these six leads and classify it as either a positive deflection, biphasic or null deflection, or negative deflection. If your lead, so let's say lead number two, is positive, which means that your QRS complex is clearly above the baseline, it is clearly a positive deflection, and it is much higher than it is lower on your paper, on your ECG, then you'll know that your mean electrical axis will be traveling parallel to that lead. So for example, like I said, if lead number two, your bipolar lead, is positive, you'll know that your electric, mean electrical axis will be traveling close to positive 60 degrees, or at least somewhat parallel in that direction. If your lead shows a biphasic or null deflection, which means that the positive and negative portions of your QRS deflection are about equal and really cancel each other out, then you'll know that your mean electrical axis, axis excuse me, will be perpendicular or not parallel with that lead. So for example, if our lead number one showed a biphasic reading, that means that we know that our mean electrical axis would be tra traveling perpendicular, almost towards 90 degrees. Lastly, if your ECG reading for one of these nodes is negative, has a negative deflection, which is shown here, it's much more negative or below the baseline than it is positive, you'll know that your mean electrical axis, axis is traveling away from that lead. So, for example, if your AV right, by, or excuse me, unipolar node had a negative deflection, you know that your axis will be traveling in the opposite direction. Typically, a healthy heart will have a mean electrical axis in between zero and positive 90 degrees. Some electrical axes, some sources will say that you can go all the way up to negative 30 to positive 120. I'd say the average is about positive 75 to positive 60. Now it's important when finding your mean electrical axis, you look at multiple nodes or multiple leads and take them all into account when you form the direction of your mean electrical axis. Usually the first two that I look at are lead number one and lead AVF. Those are located at zero degrees and 90 degrees. If you have a healthy heart that's gonna be going somewhere around the vector of positive 60 degrees, both of these leads should show a positive deflection. If they don't show positive deflection, you'll then have to look at other leads and decide which quadrant you're in. Another key note is that lead number two, which again is right along that vector of a healthy heart, should be the most positive, meaning that although AVF and one are positive deflections, number two should be by far the tallest, most positive deflection. 